You're never going to believe this, but AMD and NVIDIA are looking to cancel their brand new GPUs. This has to be the most insane story of the year. But before I get to that, AMD and Intel are in some serious trouble. Next Gen Ryzen leaked and AMD officially announced their next gen GPU tech. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, Qualcomm is claiming that their next-gen APUs will destroy Intel and AMD in gaming. That's right, during the company's Architecture Deep Dive event, they just detailed some new information about their upcoming Snapdragon X2 Elite chips. Specifically, they detailed the Adreno GPU inside those chips. And as you can see here, they claim a huge performance jump over their current-gen Snapdragon X Elite. We're talking 2. 2.3 times the average FPS in games. But that isn't even the biggest news here, because they also compared their upcoming chip to both Intel and AMD's current gen best. As you can see here, they compared the Snapdragon X2 Elite Extreme versus the Intel Core Ultra 9 288V and the Ryzen AI 9 HX370. And as you can see, according to this, they actually claim that their upcoming chip beats Intel Intel by a whopping 50% and even AMD by 29%. Now, this is obviously Snapdragon's next gen chip versus AMD and Intel's current gen, and the X2 Elite series isn't set for release until next year, but this is still seriously impressive, especially because according to Qualcomm, over 90% of the most played game titles are confirmed to be playable at launch. Now, obviously we're still only talking about 90% of the most playable game titles, but still, this really is looking nice, and it could be a huge issue for x86 moving forward. But first, many of you probably already know that I do all of my own filming, audio, editing, all that good stuff, and because of that, I'm almost always sitting. I mean, my chair probably has more burn-in than a 2010's OLED. Let's just say I needed to do something, so I started walking while I work. Thanks to today's sponsor, I'm now able to not only stand while working on projects thanks to FlexiSpot's E7 Pro desk, which side note, has to be the sturdiest desk I've ever owned with its dual motors and huge weight capacity. But I'm even able to walk with their awesome under desk treadmill. This bad boy has a nine level adjustable incline, so as I get in better shape, I can raise the incline instead of trying to run while trying to work. Not only that, but get this, it actually has a Bluetooth speaker so I can listen to tunes without being forced to use headphones. Plus, don't forget the E7 Pro's awesome cable management to get cords out of your way. And this is the best time to buy because FlexiSpot is having their Black Friday sales going on right now with up to 80% off their products. Just visit my link in the description below. And next up for today, one of AMD's next-gen CPUs just leaked, specifically their next-gen mobile lineup, thanks to a new benchmark. Remember that their next-gen architecture is codenamed Gorgon Point, and it's more or less a refresh. As you can see here, the highest end skewer, at least this is the one that was leaked, is a 12-core, 24-thread part with up to 5.25 plus potentially gigahertz. Comes with a 890M, so the same as the current gen chips. It really isn't all that impressive, but one thing that I do want to point out, you can see this is the actual benchmark right here, and it's called the Ryzen AI 9 HX 470. So yeah, AMD has not given up on the Ryzen AI naming scheme. Really wish they would just stop this. Stuff is just getting kind of confusing, but the big thing here is just the fact that they actually included AI in the name of the chip. I definitely say that's way too on the nose, but whatever. Either way, it's clear that these are going to be releasing before too long. And as the leaks have suggested, it's pretty much for sure going to be a refreshed architecture. Next up, AMD officially announced the release of their next-gen GPU tech. It was announced by AMD's own Jack Hoon on Twitter, who shared this video. So, just a few seconds long, okay. AMD, some of their games, yeah, it's showing. Whoa, this isn't saying AMD. 
Okay, FSR, ah, Redstone. And they also claim that, yes, it's premiering December 10th. So there you have it. Of course, AMD has already released one portion of FSR Redstone with their Ray Regeneration tech in Call of Duty Black Ops 7, and I got a chance to test that one out. But obviously, that was just one game, and AMD's next-gen FSR represents a number of new technologies, like neural radiance caching, machine learning-based super resolution, and machine learning frame generation. These are, of course, only available on AMD's RDNA 4-based RX 9000 GPUs, at least four or now, but I will say that I highly doubt they'll come to older GPUs later, though possibly. We have seen that AMD was at least working on it, but it would actually hurt performance a bit compared to current gen because of the architecture itself. Either way, like I've said in the past, many of these are really AMD playing catch up to Nvidia. I honestly think Nvidia caught AMD completely off guard when they first launched real-time ray tracing and DLSS with their RTX 20 series cards. It forced AMD to launch FSR are, though they obviously went with a different strategy to NVIDIA, allowing support on multiple generations of GPUs as well as support on NVIDIA cards. And I do think that was a smart move, but with improvements to DLSS over time, I think AMD realized that they could only compete with their own machine learning based tech. All in all though, given how good AMD has gotten with ray tracing with their RX 9000 series cards, I definitely think this could be terrible news for NVIDIA. And lastly for today, the GPU market may be cooked, as both AMD and NVIDIA might cancel their brand new mid to low end GPUs. I mean, this could be the worst story of the year. Seems like every couple of days, there's a new story surrounding the impending memory crisis going on right now. And of course, I've been talking about this from the beginning, but a new story that originally comes from the Korea Economic Daily, where they claim that both AMD and Nvidia are thinking about discontinuing their medium to low end gaming GPUs, thanks to a large portion of the cost of those cards coming from their memory, meaning both AMD and Nvidia believe that the memory market is getting so bad that they're thinking about taking a number of their GPUs off the market all together. And given the fact that AMD's entire GPU lineup is mid to low end GPUs, they could be canceling everything, which of course would effectively destroy pretty much the entire GPU market. I mean, at the very least, it would kill the mid to low end market, but obviously it would cause higher end GPUs to skyrocket as well. First, because of the memory price but also thanks to higher demand from gamers who can't buy the lower end cards. Obviously not everyone could get enough money to move up to a higher end GPU, but it would only take some of them to drastically raise higher end GPU prices as well. Don't forget that those models are typically lower volume products, so even a small percentage of lower end buyers moving up would have a massive effect. And this brings me to a new story from PowerColor's official subreddit, where the company themselves stated that you want to buy before the last week of the year before prices kick up. Now, this clearly isn't an unbiased announcement or anything like that, and I can understand that some people aren't happy that they would use this news cycle to try and sell more GPUs, but I'll be honest, it really does look to be true. And I don't think there's anything wrong with warning customers that prices will be going up. In fact, this is so bad that Morgan Stanley has apparently lowered expected price targets of OEMs. And this isn't just affecting GPUs or memory in general. According to the Commercial Times, motherboard manufacturers are worried that memory prices will affect motherboard sales, so they're suspending a bunch of new models. To top it off, it also sounds like three major motherboard manufacturers have suspended production of existing motherboards as well. Demand for LPDDR5X could also double smartphone and server memory prices. At the end of the day, AI is having a massive effect on the PC market, and it looks like it won't be getting any better until maybe 2027. 